Hello everyone, it's Chef Dominic Stewart again with FNEP, the Expanded Food and Nutrition Education Program with USU Extension. Um, we're going to do snacks part two today. Um, so today we're going to do a, um, I guess I like to call them uh, fruit and nut uh, protein bites. They're little kind of oat and peanut butter balls uh, chocked full of uh, sunflower seeds and peanut butter and fruit and things like that. And it comes together really, really uh, quickly because we're going to put everything in the food processor and uh, blitz it up and then we're going to uh, scoop balls, put them in the fridge and they're ready to go. So let's go ahead and get started. In our bowl of our food processor, I have some some rolled oats again, some just old fashioned rolled oats. To that, I'm gonna add our sunflower seeds. Two tablespoons of flax meal or whole flax seed, whatever you can find. We're gonna add in some dried cherries and some dried apricots. Feel free to use whatever dried fruit that you like. We're gonna add in a pinch of salt. One cup of creamy or chunky peanut butter. And half a cup of honey. If you wanna make this really healthy, um, use a brown rice syrup. And brown rice syrup would be uh, great in this. It's uh, Because it's made from brown rice, it is a complex sugar in that it'll uh, release slowly in your bloodstream so it's not gonna give you that blood sugar spike or anything like that. And it'll actually uh, help your body metabolize it better and it won't all just turn to fat. So um, that can be found at uh, your local health food store. Just look for brown rice syrup and that'll be, that would be great in here. So we're gonna pop our lid on here and we're gonna pulse this until it uh, turns nice and uh, crumbly. Stop your food processor and move stuff around. It does like to clump together. Scrape it out of the lid. Come on. You know you want to. Okay. Maybe. So you have a nice thick dough of peanut butter, fruit, seeds, and things like that. We're gonna take this and dump it into a bowl and we're gonna refrigerate this for about 30 minutes or so so it can firm up a bit more. Carefully remove the blade. And as you can see, we have this beautiful thick scoopable dough. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes or so. Our mixture has firmed up, and now we're gonna take our little uh, mini ice cream scoop. If you don't have one of these guys, just use a teaspoon and kind of gauge, uh, kind of golf ball size uh, amount. So we're gonna take our mixture and we're gonna scoop it into our hand. And then we're gonna use our hands, our impeccably clean washed hands, to round them into balls. Okay, and you're gonna just set these onto a plastic lined uh, plate Again, for ease of cleanup, okay? And we're just gonna scoop all these little protein bites. Now these, once you get these all scooped, uh, put them in an airtight container. These will uh, need to be stored in your refrigerator. And these will keep uh, 
for quite a while um, if they last that long. Uh, these are great to have on hand. Um, just take about two of them if you're ever needing a boost of energy. Um, these are great for that. Or if you don't have time to maybe eat uh, a, a full breakfast, have a couple of these in the morning and that'll kind of get you through until lunchtime. So, so we're just gonna keep scooping these. In this recipe, we'll yield about, about 30 bites or so, depending on um, how big your, your scoop is and how, uh, how big you um, scoop your balls. So. All right, we'll just do that many. Well, those are your fruit and nut protein bites. Packed full of uh, protein, uh, good omega-3s, uh, lots of uh, vitamins and minerals from our, our oats and our fruit in there. This recipe, along with all of our others that we're doing, are available on our website. And again, I want to thank you for watching.